Hello gorgeous ones, Dr. Lucy here. It's a little bit after six and tonight I'm just on Facebook. Uh, I forgot to charge my iPad so I can't stream Facebook and do Insta at the same time. So I thought, who are my lovely peeps? Facebookers, here we are. Hi Sam, how are you gorgeous girl? Um, now, here's, there's, I've got a, it's gonna be a quick one tonight because I've got a few things I wanna to talk to you about but I, what I actually, one of the things I really want to talk to you about is the fact that I'm actually really tired. I had a big couple of days facilitating a retreat for doctors. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Didn't get home till Monday. Hey Jan, hey Cheryl. Um, got home late last night and just took a little while to wind down. Hi Pip, hi Clara, gorgeous women. So tonight, I'm really going to focus on rest. So I, I'm not normally a good rester. I'm normally a, a you know, get them, keep going, you can do it, just flog yourself, you'll be fine, rest later, all of that sort of stuff. Hey Sam, hello Susan Gorgeous. So um, tonight I'm going to have a quick, I'm cooking, I've got a quick meal to cook, won't take long, and it's a, basically a two tray, a two tray dinner, which I totally love. Hello Katrina. And um, super quick, super, super quick. So these are the nights I think that my old me would have been, hey, another Susan, would have been tempted to just order takeaway in. You know, I'm tired, I've worked hard, I had another busy day today, you know, so therefore I deserve a rest, so I'll order takeaway. And there's nothing wrong with that, but it's not your only option because to cook something really quickly is really good. So it's not something, you know, look, it's, you know as you know, it's not revelationary. Uh, I'm gonna do some chicken wings. So I happen to have, and again, I've just rummaged through my cupboard because I haven't been home for four days. So um, I left early Thursday morning and I didn't know what was in the house. So basically I've got some chicken, some chicken wings, which I'll just break up there at some sort of, you know, free range, something or other. In fact, they're not chicken wings. There you go. Oh yeah, they are, they are. They're the chicken wings. First, I thought they were little leg drumsticks, you know those ones. They're the little ones that have been cleaved. So instead of a three piece, they're just a one piece, a single piece, which I must say I actually prefer. I find the three piece ones get a bit dry when you're cooking. So I'm just gonna bang a bit of olive oil on this. Add a little bit of salt. And you could put whatever herbs you want on it. Hey Maxine, you made the pizza base the other day. Fantastic. Is that the chicken, the chicken mince one? Um, yes. You cooked a mingle recipe from Lucy's. Oh, wonderful. I think that's you, Broadwin. Yes, I can see. Look, seriously, I, you know, I don't do fancy. I haven't got time for fancy. I just want quick and tasty. So um, this is the Zatar flavour, which I never would probably buy in the past, the old me. Um, but it's super, uh, it's very flavoursome. It's a bit tangy, a bit zingy, and I really like the fact that it's got some black sesame seeds in it. So you just, sorry, just did a sprinkle. So I'm just gonna get my little thing and, and just stir that around. <laughs> you could use your hands, there's nothing wrong with it. I've just got this thing about chicken skin on my hands. I don't know why, I think it's, I just think it's maybe, I don't like it. So, um, so a bit of a spray here. I've got some nice show and tell for you soon too. I'll just get this ready. I've Amazingly, I'm, I'm giving myself a big high five because I've actually put the oven on first. So for those of you who know me, my brain doesn't, it's not a planning brain. It's a just crack on and do it brain, which serves me very well many, much of the time, but it forgets to do things like turn the oven on. It just goes, oh, I'm gonna make the chicken. It starts making the chicken and the oven's not on. You go, ugh. Um, it wakes up in the morning and it doesn't actually know what it's gonna do. It goes, what will I do today? Whereas lots of other people are going, they've already known, they've already got their life planned out. And I just, sometimes I would like to be like that, but I also just go, you know what? Everyone's brain's different. The people who are like that, great. They get to plan, they're very organized, but sometimes they also get stuck in the planning. They just plan and plan and plan and don't actually do anything. So as you know, Mary and I are the queen of massive imperfect action. So seriously, that's the chicken, like that didn't take long. That's gonna go in the oven. And then this is the old, this is an old favorite. For those, I'm sure most of you have seen it, but just in case you haven't, it's an old, it's a variation on it. 
can you believe it, a TikTok. Not that I really know what a TikTok is, but um, so a, a video one. Um, and basically it's you bang a few veggies on a tray and you put some um, cheese in the middle. You can do it with feta. Um, what do you say? I don't know until I get home what I feel like. Exactly, exactly, Brodlin. I do, I'm the same. Sometimes I go, oh, you know. Um, what I love though is that if I can make food that if I don't want to eat it that night, I can put it into the freezer because I really, really try hard not to waste food. I'm not perfect, okay? There is sometimes stuff I go, oh, shit, I forgot about that stuff at the back of the up fridge. But my idea is that if I am spending money on good ingredients, then I'm much more likely to use them and make sure that I use them because they're expensive. So basically, I forgot to tell you what I did just then. I basically got a lump, of, this is goat's cheese, a lump of goat's cheese and banged it into the middle of this tray. I've gone into my fridge and gone, what sort of things are looking a bit old and shabby? I've got a few tomatoes that are looking a bit old and shabby. So they'll go around with this. And then some really old and shabby looking mushrooms will go on. And basically, just sprinkle that out there. Another good reason for not using my fingers to mix up the chicken. And so this, like this is it. And then I just get my olive oil. Quite a bit, don't be stingy. Just put over the cheese as well. Mushrooms look really big, but as we all know, they shrink down to about nothing. I'm gonna use the same flavor herb. You could, you, would, you don't have to but I, I feel like I, I will tonight. Um, and then basically when this is cooked, this will go into, both of these will go into this oven for about 25 minutes. When I come out, I've got a bowl just of some baby spinach leaves. This you mush up, it doesn't look pretty. Okay, hashtag ugly food, does not look pretty, tastes amazing. So, you know, I then bang a few chicken wings on a plate, salad with the, the so not cooked spinach, the fresh sort of spinach with this ugly but delicious contraption. And, oh Cheryl, thank you. <laughs> and then, uh, and then we're done. It's so easy, so easy. Can't do goat's cheese, you can do, oh you've tried several brands, that's a pity. I actually really like the goat's cheese, it's quite tangy, and go, that's why it goes well with this zeta. Um, but you could certainly do feta. I find feta a little bit heavy, the, I don't like the crumbled feta on this. It's very strong. The Danish, the more smooth one. Aldi do a Dane. And just be careful of your fetters because a well-known brand that I used for many, many years um, has uh, uh, seed oil in their feta to make it smooth. So uh, the I think just the plain Woolies brand doesn't. The Aldi brand doesn't. But just check your labels. Now, again... If you have seed oil once in a blue moon, it's not gonna kill you. It's just recognizing that when we have a lot of stuff, a lot of times, little bits all the time, it builds up. This is what I mean. Sometimes people get really, really worried about doing something once or twice and they, they get, falls into that diet culture of it's wrong, it's bad, it's wicked. It's not, it's none of those. But we need to have awareness over, you know, what small amounts, lots of the times, do to our bodies. So I will bang, go and bang that in the oven, but I'll do it when I finish talking to you because I've got a little present. I bought myself a present. Well, I bought my husband a present. It's our wedding anniversary yesterday, 24 years. Um, and sadly I didn't get to see him because I got home yesterday from the retreat and he was at work and he was on a 24 hour shift. And yes, doctors still do 24 hour shifts. So he didn't get home till lunchtime today, but um, you know, you know what I love. We, I bought, da da, matching teacups. Now, thank you, Em. Thank you. Happy anniversary to us. Yes, exactly. So the reason I bought these, right? I have a gazillion teacups already, but we also bought a caravan. And part of the idea of buying the caravan is so that we can just zip off on little trips. Now that our baby children are adult children, we get, they can look, they can fend for themselves. So one of the things particularly, as you guys know, with my mobility issues, I want, I want to do stuff while I can. So yes, thank you, thank you everybody. Um, so, you know, again, little hashtag while I still can, 
So we've got the caravan. We're gonna go driving off. And part of it is that I want to create some rituals around the caravan. So I have bought us our own teacup each. I know it's a bit traditional. I've got the pink, he's got the bluey green, but that's just how it was. And then because my hubby has a bit of trouble sleeping, I bought two packets of sleep tea. So one is just, um, it's the T2 Sleep Tight and the other one is the Dream one. Now this one, thanks Angie, this one has some valerian in it. Now if anyone's ever taken, has anyone ever taken valerian for sleep? It's a herb um, and it indu does induce sleep. It, it, you can buy tablets of it. But I was really skeptical because it honestly, it smells like dirty socks, it really does. I used to think, Oh, how terrible for poor people that can't sleep. They have to take this herb that smells like dirty socks. And then when I found it in a tea, I thought, oh my God, who the hell would drink this? Anyway, but I'll just give it a go. Blooming delicious. So this one is a lemon balm base and you can have this in the afternoon. So this will be instead of late night coffees. And then this one will be before bed. Now, our very fancy caravan. In the past, I would never have done that sort of stuff because what would that mean? Getting up overnight traipsing across to the toilet but our caravan I feel so lucky it's like an apartment on wheels it's got a fancy bathroom in it so no need to worry um, so part of this was um, yesterday I went and bought this for my hubby and I and oh, I'm just gonna nick over here I just want to show you one last little present I bought myself an older teacup that I got, I think from Mother's Day last year. One of my faves, very nice. So I bought the matching teapot. So it's funny. Now, part of the reason I had, I mean, I went into the tea place because I wanted to buy the present for my hubby for his anniversary, our anniversary. But also yesterday, I was, I was tired, as I said to you, I was tired. We had a great retreat, but you know when you have, you know when you do anything that's really, that takes a lot of energy, it's really good and you have that kind of hangover effect. Anyone ever had that? You know, you've organized a big something or other then everyone's gone and you just kind of go, ugh, and you feel a bit flat. Well, that was actually me yesterday. So, this is my Cheer Me Up teapot. And what I love is that in the past, I would have bought myself a packet of Cheer Me Up licorice bullets. And yes, these are obviously way more expensive than licorice bullets, but I don't do it nearly as often because for the majority of time I no longer need external things to cheer me up. But it was one of those things I was in there and I'm thinking, I've worked really hard. I deserve, you know, my old life. I deserve a treat. We've all said that, I deserve a treat. It would have been donut or something like that. Um, but this time I thought, you know what, I do. This is frivolous. I mean, I've got, I've got a teapot. I don't actually need a teapot, but this one was beautiful and it matches this. And I just thought, <laughs> it was half price. So I thought, you know what, bugger it, I'm gonna buy it. So that, is what I did instead of Dunkin Donuts. It does feel better. And I now know that every time I drink out of this, I know why I bought it. I bought it because I deserve it, because I worked hard, because I needed a treat, because I needed a bit of looking after, so why not? And this is kind of the gift that keeps on giving. So my lovelies, there is a fine line, okay? There's a fine line between cheering yourself up with teapots or buying yourself something every single time you get sad. Okay, we don't really want to do that. Yeah, total bargain, Annette, total bargain. But if every now and then you do it, it's so wonderful. And especially when it's something that you will continue to use, because I now know, in fact, you can actually stroke it, that this is my Cheer Me Up pot. And, um, you know, it, it was, it was, it's good. I think if I did something, and maybe this is the same with food, there are certainly some people who can eat, you know, to cheer themselves up, but then they don't go on benders and they don't, you know, then start eating everything in sight for the next 55 days. And, and again, that, that's fine, okay? It's a bit like there are some people that can have a glass of wine once a week or twice a week, but there are lots of people that can't regulate. So like everything, it's all about regulating. Can you regulate your food? Can you regulate your wine? Can you regulate your shopping? Being mindful of those is really important. And it's no judgment, okay, it's just, can I regulate this? Because if I can't, then I'm not actually caring 
I'm potentially harming. So self-care can turn into self-harm if you do something that can't, that you can't regulate that ultimately could cause you harm. I know, Michelle, super treat for me. So I'm feeling very pumped <laughs> in a dive way. And these are the sorts of things that I would encourage you guys to do. We, at times, do need soothing, okay? You do, it's normal. As a human, it is normal. And it is absolutely a fine balance, Em, you're absolutely right. And what it is, this is why we talk, weight loss is a self-development program. You have to know yourself well. What can I do uh, that I can do and regulate easily? What can I do that I have, what, what do I do that I have difficulty regulating? I have difficulty personally regulating biscuits, lollies, chocolate. It doesn't serve me anymore. It was an old friend, an old tool, something that I loved, but actually stopped serving me. And you know, breaking up, I broke up. I broke up with chocolate and I've replaced it with fancy teacups because I can regulate these. I think if I had like 100,000 teacups or every single time I was a bit sad, I bought a teacup. But in fact, what this is actually like a vehicle because if I'm a little bit sad, no, not sad, but you know, if I just want a bit of something, well, I could go and make myself tea, okay? Tea is really good for you and it's easy to do and it's not expensive and you know, you don't have to have a beautiful teapot, but it certainly helps. Uh, I have a stand. My hubby bought me a stand last Christmas to put all my teacups on and to make room for my fancy one. <laughs> this old one's got the boot. So this one will go into the cupboard for some other time to be replaced by my fancier one. Lovely, so I'm gonna go and bang this in the oven. I'll take a photo of it for you. You know, it barely, uh, you know, it barely deserves a recipe, but we will, I'll put it up on the blog anyway. And, um, you know, just keep in mind, tired doesn't necessarily equal takeaway. If you've got a few things in the cupboard, you can do fan, you can do not particularly fancy, tasty and fast. That's it for tonight, my lovelies. I will see you all next week. Mary's on, this mor on these mornings for coaching in the mornings. Um, otherwise, I'll see you next week. And for those of us who, those of you who are in our membership, I will see you Thursday night. Old teapot for the caravan. Oh, this, I could do this, but oh, I forgot to show you this. <laughs> I bought these. So this is fancy. Look, I mean, it, it, what it is, is you um, pull it out. It's a little bit stiff because it's new. So stiff, I can't even get this one to open. Um, but it's this so it's a scooper you scoop the tea put it in and dunk that in I think how fun is that? Huzzah! Alright lovely, see you soon, bye now